Hello guys, welcome back. This is the part 6 of our JWT authentication. We have already implemented login functionality in part 5. So in this video, we are going to show user after successfully login in the home page here like this and here. So let's get started. Go to auth service and here let's implement get token method which return token from local storage so let's say get token get token and return type will be string or null goes to local storage this dot token token key and if we don't have token key let's return empty string here Let's implement each logged in method is logged in which return boolean let's store token here once token this dot get token and let's check if we don't have token then return false otherwise return this dot is token expired let's implement this method control click declare method so here let's put from here and below paste here let's implement is token expired method first of all let's let's store token here a token and let's say if we don't have token then return true otherwise let's decode our token constant decode it and jwt decode token let's pass token here let's install jwt decode npm package go to terminal and go to client npm install jw to decode enter go to package json we have let's search for jw token we have 4.0.0 version so here let's close this terminal and control dot add import constant is token expired date dot now greater equal decode it and gets exp into thousand here return is to and let's implement logout method here logout this return void and local storage dot remove item let's pass here this dot token key let's check here if this token expired then this dot then call this dot logout method save it here we have implement each login method and each token expired let's make it private method private and get token let's make it also private method close it and go to napper component ts and here let's inject auth service auth service inject but service in here inject router here also inject router router inject router and this is login method here is logged in return this dot auth service dot is logged in save it now go to napper component html here let's check 
if is logged in then let's render here div and inside div let's create another div here class flex gap type item centers item center and inside this div let's add a and mat menu trigger for menu let's give class flex gap to cursor pointer item center let's close it inside this anchor tab let's get another div and give class v four hundred text white font bold set to md set to md and rounded md let's make rounded full w5 it's 5 v5 it's 5 v5 and flex just five center inside here let's add for now a here and after this div let's add another div and let's give class of text white flex flex cool inside this div let's add this one and give class v0 m0 and font medium inside here let's add rename this for here and after this is one let's add paragraph and give class p0 m0 font medium text xs let's make it medium text xs let's make font medium and text xs and add hair rule let's say dummy admin rule here after this anchor tab let's add mat menu and for menu mat menu small e close it inside here button and add router link here let's add account and let's pass one here for now and mat menu item close it inside here let's add mat icon in account circle let's add here view profile span inside span view profile and another button let's add another button here button and mat menu button sorry mat menu item here and mat icon logout span let's add logout text here let's save it go to neighbor component ts and here here let's add mat menu module and import manually import mat menu module from at angular as material and menu save it let's run our application npm start go to browser we have here avatar with name and role hide login and restore link if we have logged in so go to neighbor component html and here let's say let's say else and paste this code inside l section save it now we can see here avatar and username let's go to auth service and here let's implement get user detail method 
and first of all let's store token and this dot get token if there is no token then return true if we have token then const decode token jwt decode token and let's let's say constant user detail is equal to id decoded token dot name id name id let's say type any here let's make it type any for now and full name decoded token dot name email decoded token dot email and roles decoded token dot role if you don't have role then let's pass empty array return user detail save it go to navbar component html and here here let's check and see if auth service dot get user detail is user detail and go to component add here common module instead of this a let's add here user detail dot sorry we have here mistake in our service let's go to our service instead of true let's pass null here save it go to have a component user detail dot full name here let's add user detail dot roles save it go to browser you can see zone and user role let's add here item center let's save it we have here j let's click this avatar and we can see view profile here we don't see icon go to component html and here we have mistake it let's add circle save it now we can see icon here we have already logged in but we have here you are not logged in so let's fix it let's close everything and go to home component html and go to component here let's inject auth service auth service inject auth service and here save it and go to home component html here let's check if auth service dot get user detail then let's render h1 class text to xl and username here auth service dot get user detail dot full name and add here text you are logged in is span tag span tag and get add class here a font bolt bg blue 600 text white and move this here otherwise let's render let's cut it and paste here save it go to we have here you are logged in it zone so let's make it little 
round it round it md p2 p4 p2 will be good now let's implement this logout method here go to neighbor component html neighbor component ts and here let's define logout method this dot auth service dot logout here let's inject mat snack bar inject snack bar and import here mat snack bar module and after login let's display message this dot this dot mat snack bar dot open let's here log out success and close duration 5000 millisecond and horizontal position center and navigate to login page this dot router dot navigate login save it and go to neighbor html let's bind this click event here click and log out save it go to browser and let's log out we have log out and redirect to login let's see local storage here and we don't have a token in our local storage 